after one problem you have to write okay so uh, determine external water leg height for a oil gravity at 60 degree from height surface 6 degree api water specific gravity 1.05 uh, height of oil outlet height of interface level height of water outlet all this data is given um, and some more data also should be given actually fresh water gradient Uh, 0 0.455 psi per feet and oil gradient will be 0 0.433 psi per feet. So, you can assume uh, if data is not given otherwise uh, normally I give I will give in problem ok and again assumption should be realistic if you say 5 instead of 0.45 this is wrong completely ok. So, I will assume whether you can guess nearest value ok everything all data may not be available when you are working in the oil field. So, every time you will not you may not get all data, but some thumb rule you will have to rule you have to apply and you have to guess ok this this is feasible ok or maybe someone selling selling a separator and they are saying 3 minute gun barrel uh, settling time. So, you should be identified uh, that the people are wrong ok that is why you should know uh, which is correct which is not correct. Okay. Then if you want to solve this problem actually you have to draw one gun barrel ok. So, gun barrel will be like this uh, one this is I am drawing first down comer ok. Then this is like this gas is going out then gun barrel ok. Uh, then you have oil layer, you will have water layer, you may have thin emulsion layer ok. So, oil you are taking out, oil out and this is H water is given actually height of uh, height of interface level 10 feet right this is interface level 10 feet given and height of water outlet ok 1 feet is given here water outlet height and height of oil outlet. So, this is given 23 feet ok uh, oil gravity ok. Now, water is out here, but actually you have to calculate water leg height. So, leg you have to draw first ok. So, you have to draw one leg here mm, like this ok. So, leg will have water then from there your water is out ok. This is water leg. So, water leg purpose is to control the interface level actually water will be going through the leg. So, inst instead of directly controlling water interface level you are controlling using the leg ok. So, because it is outside the separator system, so controlling will be much easier ok. So, there will be one downfall also, there will be one um, that floating arrangement, so that you can control this level ok. And this is spreader spreading here <coughs> fine ok. Now, uh, if you want to solve this one what you have to do uh, first you have to calculate the specific gravity ok. So, uh, oil gravity oil specific gravity uh, equals 141.5131.5 plus a p i equals 141.5 131.5 plus API is given 36 ok. 
So, it is coming uh, if you calculate 0 0.845. Now, oil gradient, oil and water gradient is given, okay. Oil water gradient is given here. So, H O, you can see H O, H water. Mm, it, it should not look like this, it will be like this, okay. So, H O equals height of oil outlet, height of oil outlet minus height of interface level. Okay, so 23 oil outlet height 23 given right minus interface 10, so it is 13, so HO become 13, fine. Now HW, okay, so height of water interface level. water interface level, interface level minus height of water level, height of water outlet, okay, equals 10, this is 1 feet, you see left side I have marked, this is 1. Okay, and 10 feet, so it is becoming 10 minus 1 equals 9 feet. Okay. So, actual height of water I got 9 feet. Okay, this one. Fine. This is HW, actual height. Fine. <coughs> now, uh, I should go to next uh, page. Okay. Now, pressure balance. How to do pressure balance? Hydrostatic pressure inside tank hydrostatic pressure inside tank equals hydrostatic pressure in the water leg. Hydrostatic pressure in the water leg okay now you just uh, remember this one okay uh, gas oil water and you have one system like this right uh, so hydrostatic pressure inside tank inside tank is like at this point what is the pressure right so 13 this one 13 into 0 0.433, that uh, pressure gradient you can remember, 433, uh, sorry, 0, 0 0.433 plus this one 9 actually, 9 into 0 0.455, okay, equals hydrostatic pressure in the water leg, water leg means this height. Okay, so this height uh, is a, if h is h into uh, this is water column. So water column is 0.455 multiplication 0.455. Okay, so let's say I am calculating pressure at this point. I put on circle and dot. You can see that point pressure. If you see inside tank, 13 plus 9, 13 into 0.433, 9 into 0.455. Okay, so pressure at this point, right. And if I extend this one to leg side also, leg side actually completely water is there in leg. So, leg uh, height h into 0.455, okay. So, now you calculate h value, h equals 13 into 0 0.433 plus 9 into 0 0.455 divided by 0 0.455, okay. So, this value will come 
19.5 feet okay so you can see your water leg height is 19.5 uh, but total uh, height for oil and water is 23 feet okay oil height is more because oil density low and water leg height 19.5 feet okay so similar way i can change some data or i can little bit twist the problem and i can give you okay so that you can calculate water leg height or i can give water leg height you can calculate interface level okay for example if i give the same problem h i will give then i'll say calculate interface level so we calculate water level height so you can calculate okay so one parameter i'll keep unknown other parameter i'll give okay so if, if you understand this thing this uh, steps how to solve this problem then it is very easy okay okay so there will be several types of gun barrels uh, there will be shop welded field welded aps pieces. so one specification i have just copied from one book uh, crude oil treating system morris stewart and carnold uh, there is also actually api uh, in specification you see this capacity oil capacity 90 barrel so working capacity will be 72 where some will be dead zone okay so outside diameter 7 feet 11 inch outside diameter and height will be 10 feet so it will be longer height and height of overflow connections so if you go like field welded and other part so their size will be much more bigger okay this is like uh, factory shop welded so it's a little bit smaller if you say field welded it will be much bigger okay and now heater why heater again coming because in gun barrel also sometime you are using heating element in heater treater also you are using heating element so how heater is being used so heater will have burner okay so sometimes normally the heater will be like two types one will be direct heater and another will be indirect heater okay so what is direct heater let's say i have one separate system and heating let's say combustion is happening inside the system okay in closed vessel and heat is going directly to your fluid okay so in that case you are saying direct heater but another case what will happen you have one combustion chamber okay you are burning fuel combustion combustion means chemical reaction happening and exothermic reaction happening right combustion chamber in that case exothermic reaction happening endothermic reaction means it will absorb heat actually exothermic means it is releasing heat like whatever fuel you are burning petrol diesel wood anything so it is exothermic reaction so heat releasing when chemical reaction will be happening heat will be released okay so in uh, your boiler system heating element it will be releasing heat okay so you are burning fuel uh, maybe solid or liquid fuel you are burning and exothermic reaction happening you are getting heat so heat instead of directly putting into your separate system what you do you put lots of water pipe and that hot water or steam you pass through your separator okay so indirectly one place you are heating you are increasing temperature of water like boiler system works so that hot water or hot steam you are passing through your uh, boiler system okay. then what is the benefit of direct system indirect system so direct system is that like it will be quickly heating okay because directly heat is uh, your actual fluid working fluid is nearby okay it will be heating but indirect case you are heating water water will be absorbing heat water or any other fluid you can take and that heat will be transferred to your boiler system so indirectly heating so in direct case what has happened if there is any rupture any heat uh, suddenly temperature increase is there so then that will be disastrous because it can reach to ignition temperature okay and it in direct heater case actually the this called firebox firebox means where heat is getting generated you are burning and fire uh, is there inside and heat is released it, it, the system is releasing heat okay and that must be submerged in water all time if water level going down by mistake by any blockage or any leakage anything then temperature will be shooting up so that will be disastrous okay when temperature is going up and fuel will have one combustion or burning temperature okay so if it is reaching that burning temperature suddenly the fuel can burn like ice engine what is happening inside ice engine you are giving compression for example to i'll 
tissulator ic engine means internal combustion engine in that case compression ignition system is there you are compressing air increasing temperature that temperature will be burning your fuel petrol diesel whatever okay so same thing it can happen also the temperature is reaching at certain level then suddenly burning can occur okay so then this firebox must be submerged all time in liquid especially in water okay in direct heating system indirect system because fire is somewhere else and you are giving hot steam so maximum temperature limit will be there for hot steam or hot water whatever you are supplying so in that case that problem will not be there but another thing is that direct case you are heating directly so instantly you are heating but indirect case you have to heat water water will be passing through this so it will be take it will be slow process but it will be safer okay so it will be your choice which one you want you want quick but little bit unsafe then if you are making unsafe then you have to put lots of thermostat thermometer pressure sensor temperature all the sensor you must fix and if tem tem temperature is going up or if, or if you find some leakage somewhere and fire is going out so that can be dangerous so those uh, instrumentation must be proper okay but in that case uh, if a little bit a lower amount of instru instrumentation may be okay because direct flame is not there inside your separator flame is outside you are giving only hot water hot water temperature you can control actually okay and scaling uh, boiler if you study a mechanical student they can they may be knowing boiler scaling okay scaling means uh, when fluid is flowing through pipe okay and fluid is having contaminant so contaminant will get deposited okay your teeth also get scaling right so hard material will be deposited so similarly metal inside or outside where fluid is flowing scale or so harder material will be deposited when harder material is getting deposited heat transfer rate will be changing so whenever you are using any uh, heat exchanger or heat transfer medium like uh, metal is normally copper metal will be there uh, heat transfer rate is very high conduction is very high that's why you are taking copper right uh, now if you have a scale scale actually inhibit it will not allow so much heat transfer okay so in any scaling is there then heat transfer will not be proper okay when heat transfer is not proper so finally what will happen overheating possible let's say one firebox is there and heat you have calculated okay this much of heat transfer at btu per hour btu per second will be there but because of scaling heat transfer is not happening so what will happen inside temperature will be going up okay going up going up at, after certain level it can bust also it can create leakage material property will be changed why material property will be changed let's say material you design something which will be working up to certain temperature limit but your temperature limit has gone up okay then material property will change okay iron property will change when my iron property change more corrosion will be there leakage rupturing possible micro crack possible because high pressure equipment already micro crack or rupturing and scaling high, uh, shooting up temperature and if their water level is going down because of certain reason outside your firebox again that will be dangerous situation okay so whenever you are using things or designing uh, using on surface separate system or designing then you have to take care of all this scaling you have to check you have to check temperature auto cut system like say temperature shooting up suddenly you you have to stop your fuel supply okay especially if you are using direct system uh, temperature let's say 100 200 300 you you are looking at the temperature is going up so automatically this signal will go to fuel supply system and you have to stop burner hey don't take more fuel then fuel supply stop again temperature will go down check where is the problem okay then again maybe you can restart okay but if you uh, this so that's why thermostat so your fittings will be like thermostat uh, thermometer pressure gauge pressure gauge okay these uh, these are common uh, fitting element and one safety valve will be there pressure relief valve or safety valve okay so those fittings must be there on your safety system because already you are playing with uh, hydrocarbon okay a small fire source it will be a disaster okay so all system you have to check whenever you are using and you have to check your fire tube system whether you have scaling your rupture or any breakage your water level you have to check water level sensor must be there your water level is going down let's say your pipe is here and water must be 
all around, but water level gone down. So, this water if it is there means heat transfer rate will be higher. Why? Convective heat transfer coefficient in water is higher actually. Okay. So, if water is not there, so the surface temperature of the pipe will be higher. When surface temperature higher, it can melt, it can burst. Okay. So, to reduce that one, water must be there and if water is flowing, it is very good. Okay. Water flowing means water getting heated up, what hot temp, uh, fluid is going uh, to outlet maybe and again low temperature fluid will be coming. So, constantly you are maintaining temperature and you are monitoring your thermometer and thermocouple system will be there. So, there you are maintaining temperature also. Any problem? Oh, your time also over. Huh? Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, tomorrow uh, we will start, uh, you will continue this same topic. Uh, we will do some numerical calculation also. Thank you very much.